a story on enduring well. He's a husband, a father, grandfather, and author. He's also a quadriplegic. A surfing accident 20 years ago changed the life of California's Jack Rushton, but he would never let the mishap destroy his faith in the Lord. My name is Jack Rushton. In one split second, I became a quadriplegic on life support. Jack Rushton had the perfect life, a beautiful wife, six children, and a job he loved working for the church educational system, until one beautiful summer day at the beach when his life changed forever. It happened to be August 1st, 1989. My son and I and his friend were body surfing at Laguna Beach, and uh, we decided to take one more wave. As I did so, I hit my forehead on a submerged rock. It snapped uh, my neck back, and uh, we didn't know it at the time, but severed my spinal cord. And so that was the beginning of a new way of life. Not the life Jack had envisioned. Now 71 years old, he relies on his wife Joanne to shave him, brush his teeth, and comb his hair. A respirator keeps him alive. The accident has kept them together. I had many moments of tears and praying to the Lord and just told the Lord that if he wasn't gonna heal Jack, he had to help me, so he did. He strengthened me and what I once thought was impossible to do is now just a way of life. It was difficult to come to grips with what had happened to me. I just felt that I could never be happy again. However, with the passage of time, I uh, came to understand that there was only one person that could help me through this problem. And that was the Savior. Okay. And when I came to grips with the fact that I was going to be a quadriplegic on life support, today, tomorrow, next week, next month, and if I live long enough, next year. The Lord began to open doors for me. Just nine months after the accident, Jack was called as the stake patriarch, as well as the ward's gospel doctrine teacher, two callings he holds to this day. And thanks to voice recognition software, Jack has written a book called, It's Good to Be Alive, Observations from a Wheelchair. It is a message to the world that whatever comes into our lives, that we must never, never give up. A scripture helps Jack endure. Every day he recites 2 Nephi, chapter 31, verse 20. And Nephi said, wherefore ye must press forward with a steadfastness in Christ, with a perfect brightness of hope and a love of God and all men. Wherefore, if ye press forward, feasting upon the word of Christ, and endure to the end, behold, thus saith the Father, ye shall have eternal life. And so each day I try to press forward. I don't look back and, and regret what my life could have been. I'm just grateful that, that it is what it is. Jack told me how grateful he is for the knowledge of the resurrection when his body will be completely restored and he and his wife can embrace each other once again. Coming up next week on Mormon Times, popular author Gerald Lund will join us. He'll share insight from his new book called Divine Signatures. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your Sunday.